Today we've got some major news about two of our favorite movies of all time. The first one is Sonic the Hedgehog and one of the producers of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 leaked some information about an Avengers style multiverse. The other bit of news we have today is regarding Paw Patrol 3, its release date and a mystery brand new character for the Paw Patrol movie. Wait, what? Are what? you guys ready to get into this news? Yeah! yeah! Don't forget to click like, subscribe to this channel, and guys, let's get straight in to some movie news. Quiet on the step, please. And action! What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Venturas. I'm Spencer. I'm Houston. Who are you? Ayaya. Ayaya, this is Mr. <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> And I'm Roger or Dad. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I love calling you Dad. They call me Dad around here. Guys, we are back today because there has been some major news about Sonic the Hedgehog. Not just Sonic the Hedgehog Part 3, but one of the producers, one of the executive producers of Sonic the Hedgehog, Toby Asher, said this week that there is going to be a Sonic the Hedgehog 4. What? what? And, wait for it. Not just part four, we've already got the Knuckles TV series coming out in just two weeks time. There's also going to be more TV shows about all of the Sonic the Hedgehog characters. Wait, don't tell me they're making a Sonic show and a Tails show. There could be. How about a Shadow show? A Shadow show? There might even like, be a Shadow show. Like, like Shadow was created in a lab, right? So what if they make a, mo uh, a show of how he became Shadow? That is very possible, Spencer, and check this out. I'm going to read you guys what Toby Asher had to say this week. So, Sonic the Hedgehog executive producer Toby Asher recently shared that the franchise's big screen outings would begin to emulate the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So they're going to do it Marvel style. And just like you had all the Avengers coming together, this could possibly mean that all the Sonic the Hedgehog characters could be coming together in the movies. This sounds pretty exciting. It says each movie is being produced to feel like an Avengers level event, starting with the forthcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Wow. Uh... Toby Asher was talking about the Knuckles series, right? He was doing an interview to promote the Knuckles TV series, which is coming up, which by the way, if you guys haven't checked out our trailer reaction to the Knuckles series, right? Yeah. That was cool, right? We love that. That was so cool. You guys can click this link right over here and check out our trailer reaction. Where, Baba? Where? There. Right there. So check this out. This is what Toby Asher had to say. He was talking about the six-episode series coming to Paramount+, Plus, and he says it will be the first step in the evolving franchise into something reminiscent of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Toby Asher said... We got really excited about the idea of expanding our characters in our world into television. Specifically, because it gives us a platform to really do character studies. We knew that with Shadow coming into Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and some of the bigger things that we wanted to do, the Sonic franchise on the movie side is going to be these Avengers level events. They're going to be these big exciting stories that have a lot of different characters. And so what television did for us is it gave us time to go into some of the more supporting characters in depth and really build them out in cool ways. Wow. Oh. So this is really interesting because this means that they have plans for not only more Sonic movies, but also more TV shows about different characters. And then he talks about an Avengers level event. So they're all going to assemble and come together to fight the evil forces. How do you guys feel? Oh, so and I like Avengers! So I think I know something. Yeah? So I think there's going to be Silver, and if Ooh. you know Sonic Boom, yes. you obviously know Cubot and Circlebot. What if they're in the movie? This is the possibilities. What do you guys think? Do you think Silver, Cubot, and who? Um, Circlebot. Circlebot, yeah. sorry. If you guys think any of these characters will be in, comment down below and let us know. Or if you know any other characters, right, that you guys might think... That, that Toby Asher could be speaking about. What we know so far is in our last video with the Sonic the Hedgehog logo reveal, right, which you guys yeah. can check out at this link right over here, when we, re when we reacted to the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 logo reveal, we actually said that we thought that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is going to be based on the game yeah. Sonic Adventures 2. Yeah, because think about it sonic battle shadow and sonic adventures too yep and even rouge and the logo looks really similar too 
Yeah, like, like so similar. So similar. And here we go. We've had it confirmed. We were right in our video that Sonic Adventures 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog is what this movie is being based off. Because we have a quote here from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 screenwriters Pat Casey and Josh Miller. They have revealed that the movie will incorporate elements from the video games Sonic Adventures 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog. So we're, you were right. You guys were right. We had wait, it right in our video. Wait, it's based on Sonic Adventures 2. Uh, Sonic Adventures 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog video games. That's what it's going to be based on. So this is looking pretty, pretty cool. Guys, if you're what excited... Do you mean pretty? It's very cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Very Not pretty cool. cool. Very cool. Sorry, Houston. If you guys are as excited as we are, <laughs> drop us a comment down below and let us know if you're hyped. Not only for Sonic the Hedgehog 3, but also for Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Maybe Sonic the Hedgehog 5. And more TV shows. Which characters do you want to see them study further? I oh, think, man. I think I know what Sonic 5 is going to be like. What do you think? So, I think I know a game of Sonic in a giant mansion, like yep. Luigi's Mansion. Right. And he he looks at the moon, right? And he turns into a wolf. Yeah. And I think that's going to happen in Sonic 5. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. Guys, if you, if you think that's going to happen, let us know. Guys, we know that this movie was confirmed sonic the hedgehog 3 was basically confirmed at the end of sonic the hedgehog 2 because of the the easter egg at the end right yeah we saw project shadow be revealed we saw shadow's eyes open up that's how we knew that a third one was on the way he looked so powerful there was lightning in his eye oh man he looked so scary project shadow is what they called it and we know that they started filming all the cgi first they did that during the actor's strike and then in November 2023, they started filming with all of the real live action actors. That finished in March 2024, and now the movie has officially wrapped filming, and it's on its way. Sonic the Hedgehog 3, December 20th, 2024, it's coming out. And speaking of movies that we can't wait for, we have an update on Paw Patrol 3. Now, this movie is only coming out in 2026, but... We've had confirmation from Spin Master Entertainment, who is the company that's doing the production for Paw Patrol 3. They've confirmed that Paw Patrol 3 will arrive in theaters on July 31st, 2026. They're making a Paw Patrol 3? So they're doing a Paw Patrol 3. That's been confirmed. Now we have a date, July 31st, 2026. Obviously, that could change in the next few years. But we've basically got two years until this movie comes out because we're almost at July 2024 now. Right now it's April 2024, it's just over two years to go. And we heard from Spin Master Entertainment's president, Jennifer Dodge. Here's what she had to say about the movie. She said, Paw Patrol has entertained generations of preschoolers while subtly teaching them the value of community, inclusiveness, and teamwork. On the cusp of the premiere of our second super-powered film, the universal love for our pups is stronger than ever. We're thrilled to announce a third feature film, expanding the Paw Patrol universe further with an epic new adventure. Featuring action-packed missions and exploring new terrains, this movie will be a larger-than-life and once again show how small paws can make big prints. Spin Master also confirmed that director Cal Brunker is doing this movie again. The same Cal Brunker, the same director from Paw Patrol 1 and Paw Patrol 2. What do you guys think? So yeah, That is so awesome. Now check this out. While we've got the same director from Paw Patrol 1 and Paw Patrol 2, the voices... We don't know who's doing what voices yet, right? Yeah. Now, in Paw Patrol mm -hmm. 1, we had Will Brisbane playing Ryder. He was doing the voice for Ryder. That changed to Finley Epp in Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie, right? Yeah. Well, we've got some information thanks to DePatriot21, who commented on our channel. Guys, say hi to DePatriot21. Hi. Thank you so much for your comment. DePatriot21 let us know on our YouTube channel that there was recently a casting call from a company called Larissa Mayer Casting and Associates. And guess what they were casting? What? They were asking for any children to come forward from the United States or Canada, and they were advertising for the role for the voice of Ryder. So this could mean that there's going to be a new actor voicing Ryder. Okay. And they also advertised for a voice for a brand new pup called Dexter. Dexter? Dexter. Dexter. Listen to this description. Dexter, what do you think? Baba. baba. Dexter's a baba. So it says here, Dexter, 7 to 14 years old, he's a golden retriever who loves to invent. Dexter uses a wheelchair to get around. 
He's a bit of a daredevil, and he has the spirit of an extreme athlete. Wow. Whoa. So a golden retriever pup in a wheelchair who is a daredevil and has the spirit of an extreme athlete. So he's not afraid of anything. Wow. Whoa. So well, we don't know what this could mean. Is, is there a new pup called Dexter? If you guys know, drop us a comment down below. Guys, we are so excited for Paw Patrol 3. Are you guys hyped for that? Yeah. Yeah, Paw Patrol 3. Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the possible Sonic the Hedgehog multiverse, new TV shows. Oh man, there is so much to be excited about. Guys, if you are as, as excited as we are, drop us a comment down below. If we hear more news, or if you guys want to comment any news below, we'll be happy to include it in our next video. We're going to be bringing you news as we find out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys would like to watch along some of our favorite shows, including Paw Patrol and Sonic the Hedgehog, we're actually just about to watch Sonic Prime. If you guys would like to join us, Spencer, where can the good people watch with us? Ventura Movie Pals. At Ventura Movie Pals. Houston, what are we watching today on that channel? We're watching today Sonic Prime. Sonic Prime. <laughs> Sonic Prime Season 3, Episode 1. Guys, if you want to watch along with us, Make sure you are subscribed to our other channel at Ventura Movie Pals and you can watch along some of our favorite shows and we hope we'll see you guys over there. We'll be back soon with more movie news. We got to roll out, guys. So what are we going to do on this one? Because we got Sonic, we got Paw Patrol. Sonic Prime? Now, how, how about we say um, Chaos Control? Paw Patrol, let's roll. Oh, Chaos Control, Paw Patrol, we're on a roll. Yeah, yeah that I rhymes. love That's that. Rhymes. All right, you guys ready? On three. One, two, two three. three. Chaos, Chaos Control, Control. Paw, Paw Patrol, Patrol, we're on a roll. roll.